Hello, welcome to this quick presentation about cleaning or modifying drawings um, that are sent to you by third parties or people external to your organization. The reason I've decided to make this video is um, in my job as a civil engineering uh, technologist at various stages in my career I've come across drawings that are sent to me by town planners or architects or other consulting engineering firms uh, that we might be working with in a joint venture partnership and these drawings uh, although done well are not necessarily done to the drawing standards that my particular office might be using and before I can commence with any real detailed design work or preparing drawings from these third-party drawings I really need to spend a lot of time cleaning them rotating them checking them for errors uh, before I can do things like import them into my design software uh, as an example good so this video then is going to cover the outline or the background to what it is that we're trying to achieve just to orientate um, ourselves a little bit and then after this um, video I will be producing a series that deals with the actual AutoCAD functionality that we might use to align rotate and scale a drawing from a third party. Okay, so the three core objectives of this series that I'm going to be um, putting together are to scale, orientate, and coordinate existing layout drawings. We're then going to configure layers, lines, and other drawing entities to match our required drawing standards. This could be something simple like saying that all road center lines will be color nine dashed, um, road edges will be color green, continuous lines, for example, things like that. And then obviously the final thing we'd like to do is to be able to create multiple views at various scales on one layout drawing, something which is quite an important uh, function. So why? Uh, why are we going through all this trouble? Why are we not just taking drawings and working with them? Well, as I mentioned in the introduction, uh, not all drawing offices use the same drawing standards. Uh, so that's one, one thing. Uh, something that you might have noticed working in a drawing office before is that Typically, if you are a consulting engineer, civil engineer working with an architect, you may have experienced that a lot of architect's drawings are drawn in millimeters, um, whereas a lot of civil engineering drawings um, are drawn in meters. Okay, so multiple drawing standards can also uh, cause confusion. Um, so if you are used to seeing a drawing presented in a certain way, uh, you're able to interpret it very quickly, uh, you might take a dashed line to mean something where somebody else might interpret it differently. Okay, so the third point is that companies are judged on the presentation and quality of their drawings. So remember, in a drawing office, your drawing is often the product that you sell. Um, sure, attached to that drawing is all your intellectual uh, knowledge, uh, your skill as a designer, um, you know, your ability as a draftsman, all those things, your product uh, that you're producing is conveyed by means of your drawing. So the drawing really is what represents your organization. Okay, so final point, drawings at incorrect scales, uh, poorly rotated um, and poorly coordinated can result in poor dangerous designs, which in turn could lead to um, fatalities on site, uh, fatalities of the public. Um, you can be sued, um, you may even be imprisoned if, if deaths are, are result from your poor design based on poor drawing or you could end up in court um, and being sued for damages or, or public liability so you really want to make sure that your drawing is in as good a condition as what it possibly can be so that those people who use your drawing for other things like design for example um, are not going to be put in a, in a bad position okay so what is this cleaning up um, we're talking about so multidisciplinary projects will have drawings um, that have been produced by various professionals. So your drawing may then need to be cleaned up, which is an expression that we use to say it will be modified to match your own company's drawing standards. So this involves checking and modifying drawings so that uh, drawing standards are achieved. So what process are we going to follow? Well, everybody will have their own process. Uh, so these are the sort of steps that I'll go through. When I look at it, when I open a drawing from a third party, I uh, look, is it correctly orientated? Um, is north facing up, is north facing down? Uh, what's going on? 
is the drawing in the correct position so is it correctly coordinated uh, if i look at the grids on the drawing do they match the actual coordinates in, in, um, in model space and then i check the scale is the drawing to the right size i mean is it am i looking at a drawing that's in meters am i looking at a drawing that's in millimeters um, has it been scaled up or scaled down for any reason so then once i've got all that resolved and sorted out i would move on to layer properties um, talking about line types and colors to match my own drawing standards or the drawing standards of my organization then i need to make sure that all the right um, objects or entities are in the correct layers so you've seen or might have seen that when you import an autocad drawing into design software you need to switch certain layers on and off so that the software can extract information from those layers now if entities are in incorrect layers then you might uh, have a problem there and then finally i'll go about creating the relevant views by controlling layers and managing scales and finally i'll plot any of the drawings that um, that were important at that stage so i think that's all i wanted to convey in this um, in this video so stay tuned for a series of videos which are going to deal with cleaning up of drawings uh, then obviously managing uh, layers and um, colors and things like that and then finally we're going to go into viewports and plotting Good, so thank you very much for, for, um, for listening to this video. I'm sorry that uh, there's just text here in my voice. Um, the videos are really where the information is going to be at and um, I'll be posting those shortly. Thank you so very much.